breakups from like relationships i mean they were hard but like i moved on breakups from situations oh situationships uh, right you yes. can't die i'm part of the death Girl. is that you can't even shout you can't say what's doing you sometimes actually you just have to find somebody else to get under in order to get over the other person are you understanding what i'm saying good what blew my mind was like at a point somebody now said is it not this babe that is shipping out her clothes from lecky but is pretending that she's shipping them from london my mind was blown i was like do you know what it is to imply that dhl is part of a scam <laughs> like that dhl is part of a scam <laughs> there was one other more question that she said that her boyfriend got her expensive gift and she feels somehow i didn't see that i'm sorry where is that this is kind of question i, I love like. this kind of problem i remember around the time my e people's choice award nomination came that was the first time i think that i even understood the concept of imposter syndrome and this was largely because of some statements people even passed my way or oh, why would it be me that was nominated i'm not joking mm -hmm. some of these things we are actually have been? some of it were, were actually structured as congratulatory calls i'm not going to lie to you that i'm sure that you're wondering why is it me they chose i never for one day i never for one day one day you asked me but i took seconds too and even the seconds still come they shock people <laughs> Welcome back. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited because I pro see I'm a woman of my words. Okay? Right. I promised you guys something and I'm delivering right about now. Okay. I'm here with FK. Hi guys. As promised. Good to see you all. <laughs> well, I can't see you, but that's life. <laughs> guys! I said, ask me questions. Me and FK, we laughed yesterday. No, we've been laughing because Listen, the questions, these people. questions are wild. First of all, you like how we're born. Okay, guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is Dima and this is FK. Hi, guys. Today, we're going to be answering your questions. I'm just so excited, guys. You guys cannot begin to imagine how excited I am right now, okay? Before I start, however, I want to say a very big thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it is 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you need to answer a few questions which will just help them understand where you're at or what you need. And once they have your answers, they're going to match you to the perfect therapist. With BetterHelp, you're not put into a box. So if you even want a Christian therapist, you can get that. If you want a Muslim therapist, you can get that. You're not put into a box. You're not forced to talk to someone who you do not want to talk to. And I think that that's absolutely perfect. You can talk to your therapist however you want. There is a video call option where you actually look at your therapist and it feels like both of you are seated and you're talking. You have the option to call, an audio call. There are those days when you do not want to see anybody's face. I have them, you have them, everybody has those. If you do not want to look at your therapist while you're talking, you can always choose audio call. If you also do not want to audio call or video call, there's the option to text your therapist. So your entire session is just like spent texting your therapist they ask questions you answer you ask questions they answer i think that the fact that you have that type of flexibility and it's not coming to an office or no therapy if for any reason whatsoever you believe that your therapist is not the right match or the right fit for you you have the option to change your therapist at no additional charge it's not a difficult thing to do like they do it very very quickly for you and you have the option of just doing it and selecting a new therapist for yourself you can get 10 percent off your first month if you sign up with my link which is www.betterhelp.com slash dimma i'm going to have this link in the description box for those of you who are interested but if you really feel that you need to talk to someone and i feel like we've all been there we've had those times and your friends are not therapists guys not therapists just letting you guys know fyi your friends are not therapists there are some times when friends and family members just don't cut it you want to talk to someone who will not judge you consider better help okay okay Okay, boys and girls, we move. Let's see what you okay. people have. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I really like your Q&A's, they're fun. <laughs> I think that the most popular question as of right now, just scrolling through, is people asking, how did you guys meet? Me and you? Yeah. How did we meet? That's the, do you know, like, I've thought about it, and I think that... <laughs> how did we meet? 
because I know that it wasn't on the podcast. It wasn't. We had but seen I don't know where. That. I think that maybe me and FK actually met at an, at an event. I think we met at an event. Yes. And then she came and did the podcast. podcast. And then, yes. Like, I think that that's how was, we met. Yeah. You know, the first time I actually came. And I recorded something was for Jola. It was Cash Madame. She did this. Cash yeah, Madame episode. she had a Cash Madame podcast. Yes. She had and a Cash Madame podcast, and it was in the other. Yes. Like we hadn't been doing, you know. And this was even before I came on as a yes. guest. So I remember. I think I saw FK that yeah. day for the first time before I actually now came yeah. in as a proper guest. I also don't want to answer like very generic things or questions that we. we yeah, let's all the let's time. go for spicy things, interesting things. Not all these. But let the spice choke you because some of these. Questions are so spicy. <laughs> the spice would choke. Yeah, do you know, let's tread carefully. Okay. Okay, so the first one here is how do you get over someone that it's that it's impossible to get over? I like who? Like, are you Jesus Christ? Do you get I was about to ask all kind of biblical? <laughs> kind of biblical okay, guys, biblical. don't even like I'm I am i am I'm joking a bit here, but uh sometimes heartbreak can be deep. No, heartbreak is let me know, like heartbreak is very deep. Do you get the one foolish one of my foolish friends that made me do one stupid video about heartbreak? If you can't listen to the rubbish that I'm saying there. FK hey! such a lover girl. Oh gosh, FK was talking about matters of the heart and I was just going, oh, oh. please. But let me tell you the thing, heartbreak is deep, but once you assign some Somebody that's like they're impossible to get over. You can't get over them now. Actually, that's true. You've it's, actually just given them the problem. You give them a power. The problem is not that they're actually impossible to get over. The problem is that you have decided that you can't get over them. Yeah. And that's it. I don't. And that's I think money. where the problem is. Yeah. But then again, it just depends on how like the people that are very very hard to get over. They're what like, type of people do you think are they're like very principalities hard. in your life? Do you get? They ah. send them to ah. you. Ah to sit down inside your life and it's the kind of thing where you even start to like have like a moment of happiness all of a sudden they're, they they're just sending you hey how have you been just oh just gosh. just checking on you girl, girl useless people girl but i don't know what it is i think the, the only way to get over you have to first of all have decided that you're ready to get over them. yeah actually that's the first thing it's either like i'm in this bondage or i'm not yeah there's this thing again i feel like it tends to come up in conversations when i'm talking to some of my girls sometimes mm. where you're not dating this person or you people dated once upon a time where you were like i'm ready let us date or yeah. whatever you give it your all right like you people actually attempted it's not like there was no attempt right and then that's not happening but then again they wouldn't leave you alone and you that's keep entertaining it. you're like them. in like this situation do you know that i find well in my own experience breakups from like relationships i mean they were hard but like i moved on breakups from situations oh situationships uh, right you yes. can't die i'm part of the death Girl. is that you can't even shout you can't say what's doing you you can't even talk no, outside that's true. Girl. You your hey. friends will watch be looking at you, you'll be saying, Oh, you're having yeah, menstrual cramps. You Meanwhile, can't, you can't say what's doing you, you fully. What is doing because you. if you finish narrating the story, you'll be like, Okay, so, so were you, you together? together? <laughs> so the problem oh, is, you can't even you can't own the pain, right? You don't have any claim. Oh, yeah. it's, a it's, a it's a terrible thing, it's a terrible thing, it's a terrible, it's a terrible thing. thing. And people will be like, For you to be feeling like this, like, so oh, what were you guys doing? Oh, we, we, we just wanted to see where it will go. And now it went nowhere. And then you discover that a nylon bag is moving with the flow, the wind. Let me know, like, that, 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 those things are hard, but I think you have to decide that actually you're going to move on. And then you have to stop doing foolish things. Yeah. Like, you have to stop doing foolish things in the sense that we always deceive ourselves. Why is that? Like, all of a sudden, you want to get over somebody, but you think that you can be following him like on all social media platforms still or you think that you can still be doing oh let me just check on you yeah you that's not okay person. like i have a friend like i remember like i was literally almost yelling at harris and i was like this person is not letting you see beyond him and he's not ready to actually properly commit yep do you get and i know that she appreciated everything i said the way i kind of laid it out but it's the truth I think it's such an unfair, a very wicked thing. They don't want to see you like say that you were out. Yeah, they don't, they don't want you to. But move they don't on. have any clean. But on they you. also don't want to be with you fully. So listen, you have to drag yourself out of it. Let me not lie to you. It's very hard, but like whatever you need to to do, I think this is where these are situations where I support women's rights and I also support women's wrongs. So, um, what i mean about supporting women's wrongs in this situation sometimes right you will do the normal things you know you you go to therapy you talk to your friends like you pray you do everything 
And then sometimes, actually, you just have to find somebody else to get under in order to get over the other person. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Good. <laughs> How's your mental health, FK? Also, did you leave Twitter for good? My mental health is all right. I'm good. Um, I'm very stressed with like work, but I'm good ultimately. But I was in the pits last year. More. I don't know. Last year was a terrible year. I didn't like it at all. But that's an aside. I'm sorry. Did I leave? Thank you. you. Did I leave Twitter for good? I don't know if I've left for good, but I definitely like. There's no urgency. There's, there's no, no urgency to, to yeah, rush back. back. And the thing is, I never thought I would leave Twitter. I never. But you people, that, as in the place, wanted to choke, choke her. It wanted to choke mm. my life. Twitter was so much fun. Like we were laughing. Yeah. You know, it was banter. I loved it. It was irreverent. I didn't really care about anything. I didn't feel any pressure to be one way or the other. And then of course, answers happen. And after answers, you know, me have to be myself now. You know, mm. now it has passed and. Obviously, a lot has changed because of that. Mm -hmm. I have also changed. Mm -hmm. But there was like almost a demand for me to be a certain kind of yeah. way. And that's you not know, what I would you be want playing, be. which is my normal personality. Yeah. Anyway. Anyone that listens to podcasts knows I'm not a serious person. Yeah. I would be playing, and then you just see my comments. The nation did this. My DMs was packed. Right. Any small things. This has happened here. This has happened here. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. What are you gonna do? This one. And Guys, then, even this past hey. election, I was just telling her that because if it's not on Twitter, so I, was, I was like, that's when I someone messaged me that you know people were on Twitter Avenger, saying that and you need to show up. You should wear costume. <laughs> People were like, oh, these are the times when we require FK's presence. I can't believe that she has left us to fend for ourselves. And I'm like, you people were dragging this babe. That's Have you thing. forgotten that you were dragging this babe? I remember when they someone said that the picture of me drinking was elitist. No. Was oh, wrong. they uh, they ran down on that that were elitist. I don't mind anyway. I'm mm -hmm. not like, that's one of the insults. I don't actually mind it. But they said I should change my profile picture that it's not appropriate for me to be drinking as an activist. I said, you are who, bro? Which activist? What? I was like, this is what someone said. But like, even as these are happening, right, you also see some people also drag some of your popular activists on Twitter that is it every activism you must active. Oh, yes. So you're dragging so those like who are activism you do, than if you don't. don't. That Where's the do. balance? So about coming back, I think I will. Um, sometimes I miss it. But at your own time. I think I will. At your own I think I will on my own pace. And the Everything. Is, I no longer like give a damn about. Look, I always used to tell people before that if you are on Twitter and you're afraid of being dragged, that's the wrong platform. <laughs> like if you're going to have an opinion, though, that's even the wrongest platform. Because you must remember a couple of things. It's easy to tweet. Anybody can talk. Nobody knows you. And, and also, easy. tomorrow is always somebody's turn. It's, it's always, always somebody's it's, turn. it's so easy for people also to start moving mad without context. Yeah. Listen, I've seen a couple of people that I know or situations that I actually knew what was happening at the back end. And I've seen people start dragging certain people or dragging certain things. And I've seen it just like running. You know how you see a train running? Just oh, run! Crazy. I remember one day that they dragged Fisayo. I'm Sorry, Fisayo, I'm going to use you as an example here. That was the day that I just brought out my app. I did one big X on Twitter and I was like, yeah, I'm actually not taking this app that seriously anymore. Yeah, and it was something so about funny. Fisayo had had something going with a customer. I think I remember that. And, no, let me tell you because the thing blew my mind. So, Fisayo had something going with a customer, right? And I don't know, so this is not even about what had happened between her and the customer. But obviously, like, you know, Fisayo had been around for a very long time. And some people probably already had a problem with the way she priced her clothing or with the fact that they couldn't afford to buy her clothes. Like, oh, for some other reason. I'm, I'm, it's not even just specific to these things. So, and I remember, like, as this started happening, obviously, they started dragging her. I think Fisayo tweeted something or had said something that maybe I she I think maybe people said. didn't like the reply. So, people didn't like her response yeah. and all that. And all of this is fine though because at this point nobody's even saying what blew my mind was like at a point somebody now said is it not this babe that is shipping out her clothes from lecky but is pretending that she's shipping them from london my mind was blown i was like do you know what it is to imply that dhl is part of a scam like that dhl is part of a scam do you know what you're saying here babes you're saying that DHL is part of, like that DHL and Fisayo are in a room writing, Departing in Lekki, 
Like DHL is falsifying tracking information with Fisio just to convince people that her items are living. And it's so crazy because people now started piling on that. That can you imagine that she's even living a fake life and she's pretending to be shipping from the UK? My whereas dear, she's shipping let me from tell Georgia. you, if you know, like, you're not saying scary. you are living a fake life, you, you are really living a fake life. That's it. Look. Again, it is it is the game. Mm. If you've been on Twitter for long enough, you must understand that this is just the game. So you can't. So my own problem with myself was I was like, I am babe, but you know this thing now. Normal, normal. Yeah, this is normal, but this then it normal. was still getting. But to it you. was getting to me, so I was like, I have to remove myself from the situation before I go and change on somebody else's head. As a sidebar to that, the next plenty question is about my Instagram, and I want to ask you guys, what do you think is happening? <laughs> What's really going on inside? Someone DM me yesterday that they're standing outside this Instagram gate and they're knocking. Someone is here saying that you should let her in. So she's not asking you to open the gate. She's trying to tell you that she's literally at the door and the thing separating both of you. Babe, I bump into people outside who are like, so how far are your Instagram? And I'm like, the thing about this is you guys want to put me under pressure to... No, I don't mean this seriously. I'm joking. What I mean is... There's not that much going on on my yeah. Instagram. Twitter like, FK is not you. Instagram FK like, actually. The thing is, if it was popping, I would say, okay, let me open it. I can't lie to you. Even Dima's green circle is popping for that vibe. Let me not lie to you. <laughs> I don't even have what I'm posting. I don't have. I feel like I'm going to study aesthetic. <laughs> before you start taking before I start, Instagram. Before I open my Instagram, then I'll have like, maybe I'll go for like a three picture grid like setup. Do you know when people post like three pictures? Or, or, what else can I go for on Instagram? I said, black and white. Very mysterious. Black and white. <laughs> Monochrome. <laughs> what kind of aesthetic do you think I can have on Instagram? Baby, you can just post whatever. You no, want. you know people have like Instagram things. Or I can have that mixed grade one where like today I'll post this chair, then tomorrow will be the picture of me, <laughs> then tomorrow will be the sky, <laughs> then it'll be me. Are and you grabbing me? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let me tell you another one I like. Quotes. What's that? As in, oh, well, I'll post quotes. one picture, then I'll post a quote. Listen, if you were now like one of those people who, like, you post your tweet, you put I'll put, I'll not put a quote. Girl, this is your, your aesthetics See, down there. Do you know there. what, actually, you guys should give me, like, two weeks. I'm going to come, me and Dima, we're going to sit down. I'm going to do <laughs> aesthetics. Okay, so we're going to avoid all the other things about Twitter and Instagram now. Um. This person is saying tips for me, so her questions are all over the place. Mm. I'm going to try to stitch it because she kind of put it in multiple reply boxes, yeah? So she said, tips for Moi, please. Thank you. Love you guys. I really hope you all are doing well because the world is crazy. I have concluded that I'm suffering from the first daughter, firstborn syndrome, although I'm still young. But the faster, the better. I want to eradicate that syndrome so fast. It affects me so bad. I'm just looking forward to this it's not a question though but i listened to i said what i said podcast featuring you i think she's referring to the very first yeah where you were talking about yeah it is a thing because we're both first daughters um and we're both are we both first born no i'm not first okay for your first daughter right (laughs) okay so um it is a thing but then again, like, I feel like I'm a baby girl now. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I don't harbor so much, like, responsibility anymore. Yeah. Like, I really do not. I feel like before you expect anything from me these days, I want you to also be considering what you could possibly do to make that responsibility yeah. easier for me. Or what are you also doing to low make my life easier? It's a thing, and like, most of the time when I'm talking about firstborn, first daughter syndrome, it's always plays out with dynamics between siblings and yeah. between you and your parents. The thing is, like, if you make it clear that you're a baby girl too, I feel like everybody adjusts. And they adjust so quickly that mm. I'm, I'm actually shocked. So I keep telling people that you must just start saying no. Like, and it's a pain you, you feel somehow when you start, but you have to just start saying, actually, I'm not going to do that. Also, I try as much as possible to not allow anybody think I'm very good. At uh, anything, at anything, I it's actually you no, know, I don't know how to do a damn thing. I'm you know, I'm I don't even know, I'm incapable of things, and the kind of things they always want you to do, I'm incapable of them. I can't run errands, I don't know how to cook, I can't do anything. 
So once everyone is used to the fact that me, I'm here for a good time, they stop calling you in times that are not favorable. Me, I just started saying no because you realize that you're just giving and giving and giving. Everybody just collecting, collecting from you. And it never, it never occurs to them that you would no. need the things that they are asking you for. That's the most mind-blowing part of it. I think at first daughters, we understand empathy so much. We understand analogy yeah. so easily. Because it's just like, how is it not occurring to you that the thing that you're asking for me, that I am human enough to actually need it to a certain degree, yeah. how does that not occur to you? It's crazy because my own syndrome will show up in my overachievement. Mm. I even feel like largely with the way everything, some people will probably be like, oh, white, oh, this organized, blah, 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 blah. I think that there are things I genuinely love doing right now, but maybe the road to getting here was as a result of me knowing that if certain things were not perfect, if like, then... Then yeah, there'll it, be trouble. It, it, there, there, there'll be trouble. I remember recently I was gisting someone about how the first time I remember ever feeling proper panic or fear was my sister, Ugochi, was like... There's like eight years between the mm. two of us. So I remember like she was a toddler at the time. Yeah. She was maybe one or two. One or two. And I was about seven. I don't even think... I was no more than eight. I promise <laughs> you that. And we all went out to a birthday party. I don't know if I've told the story before on this channel, but we all went to a birthday party. And my mom drops us off and be like, oh, you're with your siblings? Yeah. Take like... care of them, look out for them. Ima go, wadokwanya in Igbo. Just give you things like, I don't want to hear stories, look out for them. And then you go there, you're seeing eight-year-olds and seven-year-olds just around the same age as you who were dropped off having the time of their life Play. moving like wild animals then again i couldn't really do that yeah i was very very conscious of where um my siblings were everything was going so well and i feel like for like maybe five minutes I was doing something maybe someone was you know i, I was a child yeah and the child looked away i looked away and then my sister wanted to get on the swing and being a toddler like she was maybe three three or four and in her own mind she thought that to get a turn on that swing what she do is to go stand in front of the swing and the person who was coming Jesus literally Christ. hit her but i'll never forget that day in my life so the person just swings her and he hit her here she still has a scar so just like he hit her and she it did not stop bleeding and I remember, you just thinking your life is over. Rah, I was weeping. I was crying. And I remember like the person who we had gone for birthday at their house, the lady at a point where they were doing a cold compress yeah. on my sister's eye was like, who, who, who is supposed to, because a lot of people maybe came like, with Like who is supposed to be taking care of this and stuff. child? Like, who is supposed to be here with this child? Hey. And then I was just like, <laughs> you should be calculating in your mind. And they were like, oh, okay. well, where are you? Like. They were now yelling at me like, where was I? Blah, 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 blah. God, I will not forget. It, it happened such a long time ago. I'm not joking, FK, but this is such a vivid memory. Yeah. And I remember my mom came to pick us. Oh my God, saw my sister. She was not happy. Where were you? You were supposed to do da 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 And they were even talking about going to the hospital. And I remember that day, my siblings all came. And Norma, like, Norma went to a party with us. Norma came back, removed her shoe, went to the kitchen. Was no, no, more so than a party pack. I said both of us went to a party with a sister who was didn't have any injuries yeah came back and i was the one that went to go and hide upstairs yeah. okay i'll never forget like I, there, was, there was a veranda that we had my dad never like my father never hit me in my life i told the story there's some people are funny because i feel like all my friends to a point always have a story of their father maybe smacking them at one point till this my age my father never touched me but then i think that i was like this is the day that that story probably changed because they were all angry and there was this huge burden on me that I was like I should have done better I should have done better like it is it's and I remember babe I remember standing in that balcony I switched off the light so that they would not know that I was there and my popsy drove into the compound and I was just there you was like the hyperventilating and they were like where's the man where's the man god babe I cried that day and I don't tell the story as much but then as the old I got, and I remember that incident, and I remember my age, it just dawns on you that for the longest time in this your life, yeah, you've been taking people have expected people. you to take care of people who, like, at your, it doesn't matter. Like, you're all children, mind We're you. all children, mind you. But me, for some, my own children was not children enough. Yeah. Okay? It always was not children enough yeah. for first daughters. 
So, I had way too much respons- responsibility, busy. way too early. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. what I suggest to you, I'm telling you, you must, she, you have to throw the caution to the wind. You See, and for me, it caused a lot of arguments. There was, there was a lot of fighting. All of a sudden, I'm not responsible. But I was like, yeah, but this is my own life. Yeah. And actually, if I spend half of it worrying about you, doing this, doing that, I won't enjoy myself. So now, and the thing is, People actually, because what you realize is, I look at like some of my friends who maybe I considered when we were younger, maybe a bit rude or disrespectful. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, but they're the ones that have the most boundaries. They're the ones that before yeah. their parents call it's them. It's people, they don't even they bother. Think, yes. They know that they can't disturb this one. Mm-hmm. They know that actually, when I'm talking to her, I have to, you know, they'll ask, they'll be saying, please, they'll be doing this. If it's me, Mba, no, this one. So, sis, let me tell you, if you like your life, I suggest you start changing your ways. I you did. I had to at a point, yeah. but it was like I started in my mid twenties, yeah. and it's always like this week because they're like, "What is wrong with you? You've never been." <laughs> That's it. They were saying you've never been, been like this. I remember one conversation with my father. My father was like, "You're possessed. Where you acting as if this was around the time." <laughs> This was around the time I woke up and I said I wanted to move to Lagos to get through YouTube. My father was like, something is wrong with him. <laughs> Can't you people see? Because he was so, the man was aghast. He was like, something is wrong. And in my mind, that was me at that point attempting to establish boundaries yeah. and to get you to see me as someone who could actually say no. Um, yeah. But because with you, it's always yes, 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 no problem. So, oh gosh. Listen, what was my first impression about Dima? First of all, Dima is the most beautiful babe in Nigeria. Hey! That's actually the fact. That was honestly my first impression. I was just like, so this babe is just like, she that she just fine. This is just how she looks. Fair enough. I just don't. Because you know, like, you see. What do you mean? <laughs> no, that was honestly my impression. Let me explain to you. Because I was like, okay, I know Dima. I follow her YouTube. And I saw a person. I was like, okay, she looks the same. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. I thought that's fair that you know that's how life is. No, I I've, I've always really really liked Dima from afar. Honestly, I think I think I think it's fantastic. Like you are the only for a long time the only person that I used to watch on YouTube. Oh, and I didn't so even do sweet. any makeup things. I was just like this babe has great vibes. That's so sweet. God. For me, it's the same thing. I'm like this baby's so cool. And is that FK will casually talk about heavy things like? You know, like she was just talking now about like just up on a train and go to Paris and then people did not know where I was and blah, 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 blah. Like, in my mind, I'm like, wow, I'm in the presence of very, very like, you know, like, I love it. And it's just the way that I know that you people who watch, who listen to I Said What I Said, know this to a level and like just from FK speaking to you guys, but FK knows how to tell a good story. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, when I gist with FK, it's, it's like I've had a session. It's so sweet. And I'm like, this baby is so 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 cool i love it she's so chill she's so like i love it so much so yeah oh look at that we're so cute <laughs> okay what are your thoughts on interreligious relationships i'm catholic and my partner's converting to islam i'm happy for him and i've been supportive but i don't know if the whole relationship will work we've even discussed marriage hmm. fk i think you should take this one yes because i've been in at least two interreligious first of all my parents my parents used to, so my mom is christian and my dad used to be a muslim and is now a christian so like we've seen we've seen all you know and then my parents are no longer together as well so my concept of the way these things work is not fast it's, and, as, it's yeah. not it's not as um cut and dry as a lot of other people mm. i have dated a muslim mm. you know more than one i've dated a christian and it was not really the key fact in fact it was not really a main factor at all, so, so it's like, just like it wasn't like an issue at all it wasn't an issue at all for me because for me i just feel like with relationships eh, there's so much rubbish happening that like if you find a person that is your person i can't lie to you personally you religion is not enough Mm-hmm. for me to say actually i'm not going forward with this because i just think that because of the way religion is especially the way it's practiced here where people are christian people are muslims but like they're shit people mm-hmm. you know it is all by name they don't really practice it in spirit mm-hmm. and in truth it's mm-hmm. just the rituals of it or maybe it's because a lot of Yoruba muslims is based on vibe shares. it's not that deep mm-hmm. i guess for them so for me it depends on on the situation but my thing is things the religion god itself is not the key thing for me it is always like how you are as a result 
of that thing that is key so obviously if you are talking about muslim and christian if you are very very muslim and for example you want your wife to cover her hair or you know you don't you know, there's certain things that you do that culturally and socially our lives cannot match then i can't be with you but that's the same way i cannot be with somebody who i don't even know what the equivalent example is who is a christian who our lives also don't match who maybe mm-hmm. you think like I don't know something i enjoy is a waste of money yeah. for example so yeah. for me i think it's important too because in times where we're talking about this last time in your house mm. in times where things are going wrong sometimes you really want somebody that you know you're praying together mm. that kind of thing you see things the same way but i just think fundamentally from what we have seen family friends all of that this whole thing about relationships working out i've seen christian and christian that's casted Mm-hmm. I've seen Catholic and Catholic has casted. Mm-hmm. I've seen Christian and Muslim, it has lasted. I've seen Christian and Muslim, it has not lasted. So I'm like, I don't think it's that fundamentally. I just feel like it's more about are you generally on the same page? So if it's an issue for you guys, then it is an issue. That's the yeah. truth. So just for context, for those of you who probably do not understand why this question maybe matters, like, or so there's so many tribes in this country like 250 yeah. of us and there are very few tribes where christianity and islam are equally dominant and it's yoruba is one of them yeah. and fk is yoruba i am Igbo. we don't i don't even think that like islam just did not come all the way down yeah. to the south where Igbo people are so for an Igbo person whose parents are christians there's just a lot of bias i'm not going to lie to you if you're talking about marrying a muslim person like it, it is just like my thing is no matter how open-minded the two of you are i'm just thinking about it from stories i've heard and everything it's going to be a very very like long uphill yeah. climb for you people like if you people are evil but then again i'm also not going to say that it is completely impossible yeah you have to look at your circumstances yeah you I have think. to look at your circumstances and it's the same I, so my thoughts towards that is <laughs> You just have to look at your circumstances and also know what, like like she said, some people who are married to Christians, like she, you even saying, oh, you want people to pray together. There are people who are married to Christians who they don't pray they together don't with pray. their partners. Their partners are not even interested in anything concerning prayer. It's like a chore. They are the same Christian there. Or like It's just like a tag they go by, but it doesn't really mean anything on a fundamental level. This type of arrangement is just easier for Yoruba people yeah because they have a culture outside the religion that is very indifferent to it yeah Igbo culture is not indifferent to it at all and this is me being honest and let us nobody come and say oh dear i'm being very truthful it's just not and sometimes this is us all being adults and just talking like islam is kind of synonymous to the north and then you have biafra and you have all these very very complex 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 things that add to the conversation so it's going to be very much more difficult thing but you know the crazy thing here is that just like it was said because if, you, if you've read half of a yellow song yeah. by chimamanda the main character at a point was dating a an alsa man like yeah. a Muslim alsa man so before the war it was actually very very common because a lot of Igbo people moved to the and uh, moved to the north a lot of yeah. Igbo people would move to the north for trade but i think that we tend to underestimate just the, how deep the scars that that civil war left is because it is There's almost, a lot of division. It's I mean, almost you can unheard see that of. Now. It's almost unheard of. If you have a culture that is indifferent to it, it could be easy. People should have a very like open conversation about it and see how you can navigate it. Yeah. There are three questions Go here. Ahead. So the first one is feeling somehow because all my friends are engaged or yeah, in relationships. There's... And there is FK, how's your marriage preparation for this year? Going? And then they were just saying, I can't remember where it was. They were, it was asking us, you know, our like thoughts on marriage and if we're, we're ready for marriage. Right. I'll let Dima answer that one because Dima is closer to marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I oh came into Dima's house today. I saw a balloon. I said, "See love." Oh God! I said, "Wow!" I am closer to marriage. So that, there's no balloon in my house. That just shows it's you. no balloon. Just... So, so let me say something here. If you know somebody, if you want to confirm that they're closer to marriage, go and look for balloon. If there is no balloon inside, I mean, I have no balloon no in my that you can see in my house. You're not serious. Yeah. So I've had my wedding venue for like five years. I think you've uh, mentioned that to me before. I have the one in Italy. And so people are always asking me the about, one in Italy. Yeah, about how far my my wed- like my marriage. And I'm like, oh, the wedding is all set. It's just the husband. And it's just <laughs> just a minor. Do you know what I mean? Just we just need to cross some T's, dot some eyes. Just a minor part of the whole preparation process. Yeah is about the man mm. you know so in terms of my preparation everything is going well 
um, apart from the, the groom, man, mm-hmm. the groom, okay. which I feel like it's just a case where it should be you buy suit, you come. <laughs> I'll send him an invite, but I think it should be no. I'm going to say the other thing. Feeling somehow about not being in a relationship, I think it's I think it's fine. Like I, I think, think it's, it's actually also fine as well. I think it's normal. But then again, I also think that you I, and and this is what I tend to advocate for. Like, you don't also want to obsess over it in yeah. a way that is unhealthy. Like, there are so many things that could, are so fulfilling, of course, that do not take the place of companionship and all of that. But then again, it's not all that defines you. Yeah. And one thing I think that maybe at my own age, because I even have three years on FK right now, is that it's also not about those who do it first. Yeah. Do you get? You, and it's one thing my mom always says. I get it. I want all these things for you people. But then again, I also want somebody who will understand and love you people. Because for me, marrying well is better than doing it. Yeah, it's better than marrying quickly. So it's okay for you to see love like in display or like on display or you see people like expressing it and be like oh i want this for myself that doesn't make you a bad person let me also tell you it's okay to just feel like mm, okay koshi get out what does that mean? What? What? no because see the way you're saying that they'll say oh sometimes you're not like oh you're like man oh, sh- oh yeah well yeah you know, get out yeah that's so that's too... also fine i just want to let you know but i just think you can't internalize things like that like you can't start thinking because you don't have any control you, don't. you also you can't start thinking that like you are like like um lesser than or somehow not as well off in life the society tries to convince uh-huh. you that you're less I think that that's also where some of these things are coming yeah, from. Yeah, like you're and not it, incomplete for lack it's of crazy partnership. because if you have peers, bro, you go to the wedding, the bride's mom is telling you, you are the one we're waiting for next. Every time. It's hard. Especially when, like, let's say you have a big group of friends. You know, some, have two, some of my friends have two children. And I'm just like, bro. And when I'm, like, playing with their children, I'm like, see, I'm going now to... <laughs> From here now, I'm going to the club mm-hmm. and I'm trying to convince your mommy to come with me. So go and sleep. <laughs> Why I'm here is I want you to sleep so that I can carry your mom out to the clubhouse where we were formerly residents. <laughs> so that- Someone is asking, I love the both of you, you are inspiring. Were you always bold in your decisions and making moves? Yes. I've said this before, like, no, I faked it till I made it. Well, really? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't always like this. Yeah, yeah. I'm always like this. <laughs> Some of what I do in real life and um what do I do in real life? I have a <laughs> I run a I'm I'm building a factory to recycle plastic, like plastic bottles, it's right? Such a good and we're recycling plastic bottles like into it's not that it's not that interesting. Actually it's very interesting. It is yeah. very interesting. I don't know why I said that actually. It's actually very interesting. We recycle the plastic bottles like back into the raw material that you can use to make more bottles again and we also make other things so we make luggage i actually have a luggage line coming out it's called ajala so watch out for that but it's made out of plastic the plastic mm-hmm. bottles we recycle and the idea behind the whole factory is that this is just the first thing mm-hmm. but there's a lot of things you can make with all the things we throw away yeah. and that is like the idea and on a on a grand scale because I me mean, i believe in go big or go home so mm-hmm. i was like i'm not going to start cutting bottles and doing you know, all these things they say that you should reuse the bottle into a flower base excuse me would like to know how Kim builds her friendship group. Okay, how did you build your friendship group? I need you to answer us, please. Someone said that, please ask FK if her wedding is still on. You guys don't rate me. The wedding is on. Just don't <laughs> worry. I don't want you to. <laughs> I don't want you to worry. How did I build my friendship group? I seem like I've hacked that. You know, the funny thing is that before, this was like my main, like for, there was a time when I was younger, that not having like a friendship group was like my main issue in life. Oh. So I used to watch Friends and all these like crew shows where like they're a group of friends. So I didn't like that I had just like one friend here, mm. one 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 friend. I wanted like a, a like group. a group that mm. we could Go come on the out girls uh-huh. that we could come out together. I've seen jettison that idea because it's a foolish one anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but at first. I like had friends that we just grew up together and all that and then I realized that 
I wasn't choosing like people that I wanted to be with. I was just with people that no, I was around. You were, you've always been, yeah. And that was my like my main thing. Where I dis- I remember there was honestly a day I decided that if I see somebody that I want to be friends with them, I move. Hmm. I mean, I don't advise shooting your shots yeah, very men, but to friends, wow. I think it's the best. And it's worked out greatly for what? you. What? I think it is the best thing to be like, I really want to be this person's friend. Let me go for it. It's not farms. Yeah, we're we going to not via farms that were friends. <laughs> <laughs> we got a similar question when Jola was around as well, because it's actually, I feel like a lot of women, like the older they get is something they actually struggle with. Yeah. And they were asking, and it was a very similar thing. We were like, shoot friendships short and also be receptive to shooting. So in that particular conversation, I realized that, or Jola kind of explained that she was more likely to shoot the shot. Yeah. And I said I was l- l- less, less likely, likely to, to, but then I am always open to yeah. receiving it. So you don't, because I know that you have to not be shy, and FK is actually obviously not as shy as I am. So, but then again, if you also really want to change something about it, you also have to be open to so. catching the shots when they are so. thrown at you. And then also, I have like a core group of friends where what actually happened was we found God at the same time, like mm-hmm. as adults. Mm-hmm. And so it was, and then we, we were all in London, and so we were going to Hillsong, so it was fun, it was oh, you guys bonded over and that so we too. Bond, it was a very deep bond that like you couldn't shake. And then, obviously moving back to Lagos, you just meet, so I no longer have one friendship group. Mm-hmm. I now have like, friends that are but one thing i love to do that i think is a lot of fun that i'm actually i've decided to take seriously this year is like bringing all these different people together. together so if i want to have dinner at my house i want to carry because i like yeah. it when everyone yeah, people is, actually meet yeah, and talk. when everyone yeah. is intermingling i just think you have to be like intentional with your friendships i find as we're getting older a lot of people are more intentional about like relationships business mm. and friendships kind of take the back friendships kind of wait away mm. but honestly Friends are life, so I don't know. I think I locked out. I don't think I built any group. Up. Let me lie to you, but I think I locked out. But I definitely, if I see someone that I'm like, this seems like a great person, I move into farms mm. immediately. <laughs> yeah, I think it's very important. <laughs> okay, that's a very good answer. Someone is asking, when you go out on a date with friends, do you agree on who pays the bills or split it? We always split the bill. We've, I don't think any any of my friends have ever been anywhere where we've had a complex conversation about, about the, bill. the bill. Someone is either paying, or actually, you know, there's sometimes where we're like, you, you've just made money recently. <laughs> you pay you, for everybody. You pay for everybody. So Aww. if you've just made money recently, yeah, the one paying. But on otherwise, I don't think it has ever been discussed that we're splitting the bill. It doesn't matter if you had water. Or you had everything was splitting the bill. I just feel you know like this tends to be a very hot conversation on Twitter and is, social media. It and is, and I don't know why. You know, people. You know, like I feel like sometimes I see the two sides of it sometimes, but then also I know what my reality is most of the time in situations like this. So it's very very similar to what you've explained. The truth is, honestly, it's just being very very. Make sure that you're very aware of the dynamics yeah. that you have with the people you're eating out very with. Important very very important because there are people i know that if i call them now to come let's go and eat i am automatically the one who's getting the bill like ah, why is that i just know sometimes it's big sis bigger sis. sometimes it's my age as old as you are you've come not related so to it's, you. Not even, it's not even it's not like as old as you are it's not even as old as you are but there are people like for me it's like you know it's so for me largely what tends to happen is i get the bill or we just split it evenly and then in very crazy situations where everybody starts pressing calculator i'm also prepared if that is what it comes down to to pay but my thing is always make sure that you have enough money to pay for what you yourself you're yeah. eating Do you in to any address something situation so next time we're going for lunch do, as in does that mean you so you've been paying the bill i just hey, want to be clear Jesus. i want to be clear on what's That's happening my, i don't i don't no, go around paying bills no, i don't go around no, paying no, bills no, no, have no, i done it ah! Have I done it? Let's oh, go to slow. My lord. Let's go to slow for us. So if you see FK, she did not say checking Republic. It's straight to slow. Okay. Dima, let's go to slow. No yeah, problem. My big sis. No problem. <laughs> no problem. We'll go to slow. I didn't no know. Do you know? Ah, oh, you should have told me. Okay. I'm going to. I'm going to. Do you know? I didn't know this about you. So oh. ah, ah, I'm about to have a good. Ah, I love this. Good. I'm just gonna be messaging you. Hey, girl, let's go for a drink. And I want you to add me to that category of people <laughs> that goes. <laughs> so this one is for you, FK. Will you or FK ever? Okay, so it's for both of us actually. Will you or FK ever consider moving to Abuja? No. Same. 
If okay, someone here is asking, are you in a relationship? I'm not actually at the moment. Okay. So. Actually, let me tell you a question that um, people I'm that one of my friends asked that I think mm -hmm. is fun. Are you single or unattached? What? Uh, let me explain what? to you. Let me give you just. What does that mean? See, you can be single, but you're not unattached. So I'm single in principle. Like I'm not in a relationship with someone. Am I unattached? Are you attached? I'm not attached. So you're unattached. It's a light string. Me. It's a light string. <laughs> okay. It's like a faint string. It's like a string, but like it's light, light, very light. Oh, there's a string. Is there? <laughs> <laughs> no, but the point is that question is very important. Are you single or are you like because the fact that you're single does not mean that there's nothing happening. Are you unattached as in this yeah on your own? I'm claiming unattached. I didn't even know that there was something like unattached. Yeah, someone asked me and I so basically a guy came and said I said I'm single. I said, Yeah, but are you unattached? I said, Ah, bro, this is a very that was the first time I heard of this distinction. I think it's very important. To FK, has being friends with Jola and Dim Dim ever made you consider reading more? Yeah, it has. I still haven't done it, chat. <laughs> but it, actually, it has because every time I, I like now I was downstairs, I was looking at your books. I wanted to take one, mm. and every time I go to Jola's house, I steal a book, and I don't. I've still not read any of the books I've stolen. But you can tell me, just take one. Yeah. Tell me what you want to take. So, oh, how are you? I struggle with PCOS. Yeah, I've been meaning to talk about PCS is a hell of a of a um, and useful resources. So I have a couple of um, Do you want pages. To talk about yeah, why not? I have a couple of pages that I follow, but I find PCS very difficult. So I have it quite badly. Mm -hmm. I've had an over a cyst actually pop, um, and I thought it was appendicitis. So That's how I found that I had PCS, and it's crazy, you know. Your I gained a lot of weight because mm -hmm. I decided to take medicine to help like manage the pain and also things mm -hmm. of PCOS and I put on like 10 kg so that is difficult mm -hmm. you know you're hairier yeah. than you're supposed to be mm -hmm. this is a fact mm -hmm. you like thank god I don't have acne but a lot of people have acne, acne yeah. um, a lot of people have hormonal issues good or bad I don't have a period like I have my periods like every three months so you can look at that any which way you want but you know that's it so it's tough because I also like have a stomach like it makes your stomach very sensitive and yeah. if i'm every two minutes i have stomach problems it's so crazy because i feel like i relate with her so much on like that level too like so the thing is being a woman it's not easy at all if there are any resources that fk shares with me i'm going to have them in the description box for you guys yeah. if there are websites that she considers helpful or links or accounts as she considers helpful she shares i'll leave it in the description box but like i i'm actually very proud of people who like like people who deal with pcos actively when they talk about it because yeah it is not easy at all it's tough somebody's saying send funds fk why are you ignoring <laughs> this one someone said please tell fk as send you funds. see here it's the man that is spending money on people do you not hear her say that she's she taking people? I don't people, make mistake. That she's taking people I don't make mistake. I, I said this thing that I you said. said I want you to know. I that. said if I invite you for lunch, I am most likely going to pay. I'm going to message that you message me. <laughs> <laughs> there was one other more question that she said that her boyfriend got her expensive gift and she feels somehow I didn't see that. I'm sorry, where is that? This is kind of I, question I, I love like. this kind of problem. Someone is saying, when are you coming to South Africa on a girls' trip? Which do you know what? Have you been to Cape Town? I have been ages ago, but not like in a fun way as an adult. I, I we went on a family holiday. I think we should go to Cape Town. I think we should go to Cape Town. Jala went to Cape Town recently, yeah. but she didn't go with yeah, girls. Yeah, 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 she didn't, yeah, go, yeah. She didn't yeah. go with the girls, yeah. and so it can't click. Yeah. We need to go on a girls' trip. Yeah, I agree. I'm actually not mad at that. That's a very good idea. Thanks, shout out to this person. Where should we go? See, we've said it now, so we're going. I don't want. You know what? Because. You people now, you, you know, love remember, to backtrack. I remember like last year, in 2021, did we say Mauritius or Maldives? <laughs> I remember. You guys, 2021, that's how we said that we were going all to. All the trips we planned. It wasn't we, we were going to Mauritius. Mo Mauritius. So. We didn't even see, I don't even think that we've been to Lekki because we're going to show it as we are now. Kai! No, let's do it. Let's actually so go. So someone said, trip. do you guys think the streets are filled with unserious men who ain't ready to be for a serious relationship? I think the streets are rugged at the moment on all sides let me not lie to you because what you see happening is everybody like doesn't want to get got 
and so you are the one everybody's everybody. fronting see everybody is moving mad on the streets men no women everyone is actually and we're all doing it like a lot of people are doing a thing where everyone is just behaving in a reckless manner that is fun in a way but it's not actually getting a lot of people what they want is my own opinion so the streets are rough mm. what's going on what's what what's what's happened i think that a lot has happened to vulnerability yeah recently. it's out of the picture and also so you don't want to be taken for idiots yeah. and so your defenses are high and like so because high. women have been suffering for so long at the hands of men everybody's turning to wickedness <laughs> someone said if monetary limitations were not an issue what do you what do you want to do with your life Ooh, this is very interesting I think on a, I would travel a lot. Yeah. Like I would, I would hardly be around. That's the truth. I would travel all the time. Mm -hmm. I think from a work, I think do they mean work or like how I like? Could anyone really want to answer? Let me know. Like ah, I like enjoyment. Mm -hmm. My life would be set up in such a way that it would even make sense. It <laughs> no, it actually would. The more I think about it, the more I'm like God. But I would, I feel like I would set up my life in a way. So houses, I don't, I don't think that's very interesting to get into, but what i would do for a living would then not be one thing i would have like projects that i'm working mm -hmm. on so i want to do this on the podcast i've done this project i want to do this other thing i just do it as a project because i and have let me money. tell you something that money does is that money buys you time it frees up your it time it frees up your time I'll first like you're team. able you're able to delegate and delegate, and delegate and delegate i'll put a team together just for vibes to say okay today this year this is the thing that i want us to face I like this kind of question. Yeah. I like this kind of question. So many years is Well, let me ask you a different question. Do you have a number for which when you hit that number, let's say per month, like life switches for you? Not so I don't mean life changing in a dramatic way, but like everything you want to do realistically, good, bad, where on a day to day, week to week, money is not really your object. Is that a number in mind that like, not Naira or USD? Naira okay, is that your card? <laughs> <laughs> Naira, please now. Um, no, as in, but just no. I don't. I don't. Do you know when I like think and dream of things? I no longer put it in Naira <laughs> because before you've woken up, the value has gone down. <laughs> Do you um, to be honest, like, and I know that this might even sound a bit nice to people, but I think that maybe if I hit one fifty k a month. That sounds wild, or is it too small, or is it too big, or is no. it moderate? No! So the thing is, you know what? Or is it moderate? What is it? So funny. No, we're having a dream conversation. Tell me what you think of my dream. We have a dream conversation. I think it's bold. It's bold, I right? it's bold. Because we're talking about like, like relaxing and Because free. what you've done, you've carried like a, 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 <laughs> an investment banker salary and turned it into your monthly stipend. <laughs> That's the stage I'll reach and I'll be able to relax. Cool. You know, so what will happen is I will wake up and it's not by checking my phone what someone wants. It's what, waiting now. What I want to do? I look good. Do you know? I would just be ah. No, it would be sweet. Um, I don't think my number. I don't think I started at one fifty k, but I like it. I think I might adopt that. That's so where, where where do you want to start? Say what it is. No, because me, I'm like looking at. I'm not looking at the far future. I'm looking at like as immediate, a, immediate. So what is like it next year? Well, I wasn't thinking really immediate. No, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Right. So. 20k okay. yeah that's actually that's a decent amount it is very decent it is very very decent Dude, i don't like it don't worry we're going to get Cute. there do you get a sweet, we're gonna a get sweet there. number not bad end of the year 240k not bad so this one says so my fiance received a rather expensive gift for his birthday i'm trying to act normal but it did pay me um from who i'm assuming that's from a babe for it to be written here. for you to be written here because so let's look at the context <sighs> do you know the thing i can't help myself just i mean you're but my question would be to what what for to what end Why? is she sending you and the things that babes do that they know what they are doing you know do you know, you what? know what you're i doing. hate when we all behave so you know now but there's one thing i'll say what happens if that is just her like financial bandwidth so for example, there are people who if they're gonna buy you perfume, they don't buy not, anything less than It's not than going a to be amount. a cheap perfume just because they can afford it. So it doesn't mean they like as in it's not doesn't mean they like you, but that's just you're yeah. not special. That's that that's is what, just what they right, can afford. Right. I'm not choosing to look at that because that's less interesting for this context. I'm choosing <laughs> to look at the other context. Who sent you? First of all, once somebody becomes fiance, 
Your birthday, the gifts are starting. You know, the funny thing is that it's tricky. They and we're change. even trying to it's talk tricky. it out. And you're wrestling with your emotions. The truth is that if you it's flip somehow, it. Somehow. It's wait, somehow because she's feeling somehow. Let me say something. It's because we're a babe, said, And this person is a babe. That's why she's brought it to this matter to help us because she's trying to wrestle her emotions. The average Nigerian man will not wrestle their emotions if, let us say, you were with them and they and demand, a man buys you a very expensive he gift will ask and you, you open your what hands is the, and, and collect, collect it. it he will ask you to why what do, end why do you collect that gift? why actually yes you are right it is true why are we asking ourselves yes questions? because they will not be happy if a man gave you something like you're supposed to you're, you're, see men expect you to go everywhere and your response is i'm in a relationship i'm in a relationship to everything so like so why do you know the truth? No, I'm telling you the truth of the matter is that I've actually been in this context because I, I had I, my birthday passed and a friend, the guy that's friend, mm -hmm. bought me a very nice gift. And the guy that I was talking to was like, I don't get. I said, oh, What do you get? <laughs> what do you get? So the thing is, when I'm on the receiving end, I don't, I don't have all these. Uh, yeah, I, have, yeah. I want to collect the gift, but it can be somehow. Yeah, it the is. truth is, you only. I don't. It was the guy you were talking to. You're not in a relationship. Yeah. It's not your fian, fian, What's the male equivalent? Fiance. Okay. So the thing is. If it was you that you were there on your birthday and a man buys you a rather expensive gift, trust me, the guy is also going He's to gonna ask, ask you questions. questions. So He's gonna ask questions. If you feel the same type of way, you can and ask your friends, him. And your friends, your friends, before you collect it, <laughs> exactly. Boy. exactly. Because men will, are very quick to say you should not be receiving yeah, gifts from, from someone people. if you're a partner. But do you know the thing? It can be. So I'm trying to like you know dial on both sides let me not lie i'll feel somehow about it and i'll probably say something like i won't say something why did you collect it i'll make a joke that so that you know that actually i've taken notes of this mm -hmm. and i hate this kind of rubbish mm -hmm. because why she knows that you're engaged now free um you know a fancy gifts why can't you just buy him i don't first of all what are you even buying him you can buy him a normal gift. Why am I noticing yeah. the gift? Because all of a sudden now, from your birthday or whatever, that's now like the main gift that you got. It's now not whatever. Maybe she now, God forbid, she now went and gets him a jar of 20 things she loves about him or something foolish. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is, is a very random question, but she's like, Dima, this question is for you. Do you eat before or after your workouts at night? I eat after I work out at night. The last thing you want to do is to start hopping around with a full belly. I feel like that will just trigger so many things. So yeah, I, I actually good. make sure that I work out and then I eat. I think eating after. There was a question about mm -hmm. being an underachiever. What so the babe says she feels like an underachiever. And what, what do you do about that? I think imposter syndrome is legit. I always go into things with this idea of who can beat me. So I don't know. I feel like we put a lot of pressure on ourselves because of we can see everything everybody is doing mm -hmm. all the time. So mm -hmm. you can see everybody achieving these people you know, people you don't know. Everybody just seems like their life is so interesting. So much is happening. And it makes you feel like what you're doing is not. And, and I just think that it's because we're so aware of everything that people start feeling like they're underachieving. Because like even you just not doing anything, being a person, that's fine. The other thing is me, I've realized I've sat down with people that like I think are, have achieved amazing things. And I'm like... They are amazing, but they're not actually like 10, 100 times smarter than me or whatever, where I feel I can't do what they've done. Lastly, in this life, oh, you must do things with a sense of who can beat me. I completely agree. <clears throat> I think that, I don't know if I've also said this before, but I don't necessarily struggle with um, imposter syndrome. No, I don't. It's not something that I am. And the reason is because I feel like life, or I strongly believe that life comes in seasons. And I feel like it's because there are certain times when you're working your ass off and you're not really seeing it then. It looks so dry. I feel like I'm even in one of those things. But considering what I've just come out of last year, the fact that I'm even able to post constantly is a blessing to me, right? I've also known that there are years where all I was just doing were doing normal things. I remember around the time my E People's Choice Award nomination came. That was the first time I think that I even understood the concept of imposter syndrome. And this was largely because of some statements people even passed my way. Oh, why would it be me that was nominated? I'm not joking. Hmm? Some of these things we are actually, have been? some of it were, were actually structured as congratulatory calls i'm not going to lie to you that i'm sure that you're wondering why is it me they chose i never for one day i never for one day wondered why you ask me why I, never, never, I never for one day wondered why, why he, he nominated me i was like okay i've worked and i've got to this i'm not can joking. you imagine do you know that this call was so jarring that i remember the road i was on i remember where i was on i can't say you 
when I was in a moving vehicle, I wasn't driving. I remember when we were passing, when this person said to me, I know that you're wondering why it was me, you know, but say, you know, come. And I'm like, I'm like, I never want that because I feel like my work speaks for myself. Bruh, so I'm my thing crazy. is, and the year that nomination came in is also not the year that I would say I have worked the hardest yeah. on YouTube. And that is what it tends to be for a lot of people. Like FK was saying, they are not necessarily the smartest, the most hardworking. Maybe they have been in certain stages, but the thing is that there are periods for sowing and there are periods for reaping. Yeah. And you might be at a period of reaping or you're expecting to reap when all these things start dropping in. That does not make or like, because maybe you were not actively sowing at that particular time, minimize like yeah. what is coming your way i don't know if this analogy makes sense yeah. but that is what it is to me. me i also just feel like i've i've stopped having imposter syndrome if i'm in a room then i'm supposed to be there you get me? yes you're not there who by else? accident me, i'm always just like okay but who else again but me i don't get what you're talking about i've stopped just i just feel like there's so much in the world happening i'll not be putting myself down again on top of it Mba, no i am there i deserve to be there like i just who else again? So imagine me wondering why it would be. I've never wondered such a thing. I say I never wonder, but the closest I ever came was that period. Yeah. Because you realize a lot of people who were actually congratulating you were not necessarily, they were also like, I knew why like that blessing had come. So that particular year, there was me, there was Elsa Majimbo, and a, a lot of other exciting people, even Zozi Tunzi, I think that that's the pronunciation, one second. Um, yeah, so Zitunzi, yeah. she was a current Miss Universe at the time. And it, it was also people like, and I remember like, people came out and voted for me, and I took, I was second. You know, Elsa was amazing yeah. that year, and everybody saw like, it. That was Elsa's. But I took second still, and even the second still come, they shocked people. <laughs> because some people were confused. First of all, your confusion came with my nomination. <laughs> That. No, they don't. They don't see you like that, they and don't. they struggle when they actually realize that a lot of people see you the way they do. You don't. know, and I don't mind all these things because me, I'm just like, I actually, I've I've come down to that. Sometimes when things are hard, I ask myself like, am I really who I think I am? And you I are. Through, yeah. Yes, absolutely. baby. People you have are. this thing. So someone was saying this thing about like our podcast, and they're just like, almost. I cannot believe that you two clowns, you fools, are the ones that are selling out. And there are people that are walking, they are doing this on their podcast, and they, they, they don't get there. And I'm like, man, it's written. You know, this is just. No, but then you guys are doing a lot of hard work as of well. Of course we are. So it looks like vibes, and it's supposed to look like vibes, but we, we, we've earned it. I think it's it comes down to. So for we've imposter syndrome, it. I think we've kind of covered I that. think imposter syndrome, but for me, I would just honestly assume that if you're in a room, you're supposed to be there. Don't ever also let what people think about you like derail you too much no, because the truth is that crazy. people like by their nature look at you assess compartmentalize and they place you somewhere yeah. and the thing is the minute you do anything or anything comes your way that takes you out of the box they, they don't you in, understand they it don't anymore. understand it and that's just what life is so don't let that stress you too much you'll so, be okay i think we're done yeah is there any other thing i don't know guys there are 100 million anything. questions here there's actually so many this guys we've tried fun, but this like, video is going to two i don't hours. know i don't know what we did and didn't come this up, video is we... going to two hours and obviously it can't be two hours so see we tried there will be a follow-up later in life don't worry okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed yeah i'll do see all you those guys. things and I, i'm gonna work on my instagram aesthetics so yes. that i can so Have probably do, I think that the most likely one is fire picture tweets in between. At least with this, I'm guaranteeing them a return. Yeah. Twitter. So you're guaranteeing so, them. Oh my, yes. you're guaranteeing them plenty. This is now open Instagram plus Twitter. Kill Anyway, let's see. Let's see how it goes. This was fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed Bye. this. Bye. I'll see you guys in my next one. Kisses. <laughs>